Kalpana Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to evaluate integrals. So first one, evaluate integral. 2x power 4 plus 7 into x cube plus 6 into x square by x square plus 2x into dx. Solution. So here in the denominator you are having x square plus 2x. So what we are going to do is we are going to write the numerator in terms of x square plus 2x. So we are going to split this 7x cube. Okay. So we are going to split this 7x cube by or 7x cube as 4x cube and 3x cube. 4x cube plus 3x cube is 7x cube. Okay. 4x cube plus 3x cube. Write the third term as it is. By x square plus 2x. Okay. So here in the first two terms, you can take 2 common and also x square common. So that you will get x square plus 2x. See, 2x square into x square is 2x power 4 plus 2x square into 2x is 2 2s are 4. x square into x is x cube. Okay, plus in the next two terms, you are going to take 3 common and x common. Okay. So, you will get x square plus 2x. You can multiply. So, 3x into x square will be 3x cube and 3x into 2x will be 6. 3 2s are 6 x into x, x square. Okay. So, this is equals to integral. So, now what you are going to do is, here you are having two terms, right? So, in these two terms, you are having x plus 2x, x plus 2x. So, now you can take x plus 2x common from the two terms. So, you will get x square plus 2x into 2x square plus 3x into dx by x square plus 2x. Now, you can cancel x square plus 2x, x square plus 2x. You will get 2x square integral of 2x square plus 3x into dx. Now it is easy to solve or to find the solution I can say. This equals to integral 2x square into dx plus integral 3x into dx. Now take the constants outside the integral. You get 2 into x square dx plus 3 into integral of x dx. Okay. Now you can use the formula of integral of x power n dx which is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. So this formula is applicable when n is not equal to minus 1. So in the place of, now you can compare the integrand with x power n. Okay. So in the place of n you are having 2 n 1. So you don't have any n which is equal to minus 1. So you can apply this formula. This is equal to 2 into x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus 3 into x to the power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 plus integral constant c. Okay. You can write only one integral constant for these two integrals. Okay. Fine. 
So this equals to 2 into x power 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 plus 1 is 3 plus x sorry 3 into x to the power 2 that is x square by 2 plus c. So you could write it as 2 by 3 into x cube plus 3 by 2 into x square plus c. So this completes the first problem. Now coming to the second one. Integral of 5 into x power 4 plus 12 into x cube plus 7 into x square by x square plus x into dx. Solution. So in the denominator you are having x square plus x. So we will write the numerator in terms of x square plus x. For that purpose we are going to split this to x cube. Not 2x cube, 12x cube, sorry. 12x cube, we are going to split it into. We are in 5 and 7, right? So, we will split this into 5x cube and 7x cube. So, 5 plus 7 is 12. We will get 12x cube, okay? If you add 5x cube and 7x cube, you'll get 12x cube. So the first term and third term goes as it is. Okay. So you can write this 12x cube as 5x cube plus 7x cube. Simply we are splitting this into two terms, right? Plus 7x squared, the third term by x squared plus x into dx. Okay. Since we are going to write the numerator in terms of x squared plus x, so firstly we will consider the first two terms. So from these two terms you can take 5 common and x squared common. If you take 5x squared common you will get 5x square plus x. 5x square into x square is 5x power 4. 5x square into x is 5x power x cube. Plus, again from the next two terms you can take 7 common and x common. If you take 7x common you will get x square plus x. See, 7x into x square is 7x cube. 7x into x is 7x squared by x squared plus x into dx. Now, you are having x squared plus x in the first term and in the second term. So, you can take x squared plus x common from these two terms, right? So, this equals to integral of x squared plus x into 5x squared plus 7x into dx by x square plus x. Okay. Now you can cancel x square plus x from the numerator and the denominator. So this is equals to integral of 5x square plus 7x into dx. So you could write it as integral 5x squared dx plus integral 7x dx. Now take constants outside the integral. You get 5 into integral x squared dx plus 7 into integral x dx. Okay. Since we are having the formula x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1. So now we are going to compare the integrands with x power n. We will have n equals to 2 and n equals to 1 which is not equals to minus 1. So we can apply this formula. So this is equals to 5 into x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 
plus 7 into x power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 plus integral constant c. Okay. See, if you want to write separately constants for each integral, I can say, if you want to write integral constant for the first integral, you'll get 5 into x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c plus 7 into x power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 plus c. Again, constant plus constant is again a constant. So, instead of writing two constants and, and uh, summing it to some c, okay, instead of writing many constants, we'll just end it with a single integral constant, okay. No need to write number of constants. So, we will get 5 into x to the power 2 plus 1 is 3 by 3 plus 7 into x to the power 1 plus 1, 2 by 2 plus c. So, this is equals to 5 by 3 into x cube plus 7 by 2 into x square plus c. So, this completes the second problem. Fine. So, we have seen two problems in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.